First of all, your take on the outlook for the pricing environment across China's solar sector. Are prices going to remain depressed and at historic lows? And what positive catalysts do you foresee that could promote a turnaround? So with the, the market reform, uh, as we've seen now in, in China, uh, you are emerging into territories like we have seen in Europe, for instance, where capture prices, meaning the, the prices that you get for the solar generation when you're generating solar power is extremely low. So just solar is going to be difficult. The market reform will definitely help boost energy storage additions um, in China uh, to further sort of accelerate wind, uh, solar and other renewable sources. Can you bring us up to speed, Marius, uh, with the policy driven installation boom? Once that front loading ends, in the second half of the year, then do market fundamentals return to oversupply conditions and uncertainty? So the uh, the oversupply issue in uh, the, the Chinese PV sector, and, and this is really a global issue more so than just in China, that has been the case for years now. Uh, so there are there's way more capacity uh, across the value chain than can ever be sort of installed in a year. Uh, the question is then, how do you kind of curb the production? Because you can have the capacity, but you don't have to produce. Um, and for the for the last couple of months, uh, Chinese industry players they have been trying to curb their production and sort of agreeing on on halting over production to get prices to come back up again. As you saw this installation rush that was driven by the market reform on pricing uh, for renewables, um, you had more and more production happening. And prices did regain. Uh, if you're looking at the price of solar panels in China, they gained 10% during that installation rush. But they're now back down to kind of the, the record lows that we have been seeing in the beginning of this year. So th there's definitely less procurement going on in China. Um, you can also see this in a more global sense, where uh, exports of modules out of China have actually started declining uh, in the first quarter of this year, which is the first time in a very long time. So, Marius, give us a bit more colour on uh, the, the introduction of uh, a new uh, market-oriented uh, pricing system for renewables, which, as I understand, uh, came into effect on June the 1st. It's based on uh, transactions and competitive uh, bidding. How does that change uh, the, the narrative and the underlying fundamentals? If, if these uh, suppliers are now forced to compete under more stringent market conditions, then is that going to force something of a shakeout and a rationalization? So with decreased demand, which is what we're going to see with this pricing reform, because before you were sort of guaranteed a revenue stream as a developer building out solar PV or, or wind, uh, you don't have access to that anymore. And so demand is necessarily going to come down. Uh, the question is, which sort of support schemes will you have for build-outs of solar or wind? Will there be government auctions with contracts for difference? Uh, will there be corporate PPAs sort of driving installations? And I think both, both of those two mechanisms will be sort of the, the drivers for continued installations in China. But there will necessarily be less demand just because you're no longer guaranteed the stream of revenue as a developer. And uncertainty is not a very good landscape for investments. Now, as a sort of supplier, as you're seeing less demand, uh, you will probably see an acceleration to a consolidation that's already been happening in the sector with a lot of leading players losing money for over a year now, uh, with also smaller players kind of going out of business in China. So it's a tougher market, that's for sure. Uh, let me just pick up on that point uh, about the solar uh, equipment makers and just how stressed they are. JI, pardon me, JA Solar Technology, Jinko, Longi Green, Tongwei, Trina Solar reported a combined loss of over 8 billion yuan in the first quarter. So is it a matter of time before we see bankruptcies, before we see solar equipment makers failing and to what degree is that going to lead to self-discipline, consolidation and, and rationalisation? Hmm. 
So, I mean, we, we have seen smaller companies already go bankrupt. Uh, the big ones, they have, of course, a lot of more money to, to work with. Um, I don't think the, the government wants the really big ones to go out of business either. We have seen phases of consolidation previously, um, and we will probably see more capacity sort of be consolidated under larger names. That doesn't necessarily mean that the capacity will be gone, uh, but you will have more control over the production itself. And, well, there, there's no reason for the capacity to just disappear. There's reason to curb production. Um, and you can always scale up if you need to.